Versailles by Colin Jones. So you got an introduction, six chapters conclusion, you got appendices, further reading, and a list of illustrations before the introduction because there are they are kind of scattered throughout the book. And so as the title suggests, you are getting a book on Versailles. You aren't getting a book about either king that had a real influence on the building. Yeah, there have been a few others, but you are getting the Sun King's building project, little, little baby kind of thing. And so you are getting a history on this palace and what it had has become after the downfall of Louis and Marie Antoinette and the revolution and everything. So you are getting that kind of information. So you are looking about 200 pages. So it does, there are chapters, there are books that would likely go more further in depth or there are books that could be more basic, but you're kind of looking at a middle type book for this, you're looking at the growth of the palace, focusing on the building and Louis, depending on the time of the palace as a second character because it is who transformed Versailles to the small little hut, hunting lodge or whatever, to the palace it is today. So. And it goes into the impact on the person who was living in it and the people who were living in it, like demanding and being a public role and like de depending if it was a private kind of king or not and financing it and the finances of Versailles because near the end, like near the end of the book, it's saying financing Versailles was getting a little harder and harder <laughs> to do. So, and you got info, information about being a court, courtier at Versailles as well, and the decline of Versailles as a cultural um, re reputation in with the cultural re reputation to it as Paris, because Paris was starting to get, uh, to outplay Versailles, and its role with the, re the Republic, Republican rising and revolution and it and like the events and later events that would take place in Versailles like Prussia becoming whole like one whole entity and you're looking at like in 1892 the real talk real talking about like the people who are conserving Versailles itself. So, and then you have the conclusion and 13 different appendices, which are primary sources. A few primary notes, like quotes, are scattered throughout the book, but the appendices are where the appendix is where you do have the main primary sources for the book. So, Sorry. So that is where you have the main primary sources again. So Versailles by Colin Jones. Happy readings.